What's up guys, Duckfin Gaming here, and as you see, we're back with the lovely Erica. And um I wish I could find like a new suit for her. Like a new a new sexy outfit. Like I really love this Pocahontas one just because it shows off, you know, so much of her skin, it shows off her sexiness. And that's really, really cool. But I wish I could find like another kind of skimpy outfit that had good armor. I don't know of any really. I've like seen a video that showed like everything. It showed like all the armor that's available. And it's just I never found one that was good. It was only this one that really is skimpy. And I like it because it's skimpy. I wish they had just a few more outfits that were just good for girls. <laughs> the hell, dude? So I walked in here and this dude's like, you're going to die. Am I supposed to talk to her? I don't have any business with you. I didn't think so. so. Get out of my face. I went tripping the hell out though. So let's talk to you. So you're the one. Hmm. You don't look so impressive. Bitch, I'm I'm hotter than you, I'm sexier than you. I'm the best at what I do. Is that confidence I hear? Or is it arrogance? Strange how often they're confused. You have to understand. It's been a long time since Brynjolf sent me anyone I can rely on. You have no faith in the guild? Faith? I don't have faith in anyone. Yeah, neither do I, man. Neither All do I. All I care about is cause and effect. Did the job get done and was it done correctly? There's no gray area. Well, where do I begin? Head to the Bannered Mare in Whiterun and look for Malus Machius. He'll fill you in on all the details. All right. I guess I'll go do that. I don't need One any more, more details. In case I wasn't you butcher this job and you will be sorry. Is that a threat? If you threaten me again, I'll kill you where you stand, you ugly bitch. So anyway, I don't know what's up with that dude trying to like... Oh, he's trying again. What is with this dude? What is with this dude? What is this guy? He like continuously tries to kill me. I mean, dude, you're obviously a piece of shit guy, and you can't kill me, but I just wonder why you're even trying. Fucking weird. So anyway, let's continue. <clears throat> I don't exactly know what I'm going to talk about in this uh, particular episode. I mean, I've been venting so much about my ex and all the bullshit she put me through in these last episodes that I really just... I'm shot, you know? I mean, if you guys want to hear me vent about my ex, then um, watch like the last three or four videos, especially the last one. But that's, it's done, dude. It's over. Go cry yourself a razor. I'm done kissing your cuts. Yeah, it's, it's that. So I guess I'll move on. I want to talk about this uh, new EP I'm doing. And I think that's going to be the title of it. I really do. Like... Because the whole CD pretty much, maybe, well, I mean, the whole CD is based around her. Like, the one thing that when I dated her was one of the biggest things is I met her through her being a fan of my music. And she's the only girl that I've dated who I played my music to, who I let listen to my music, who was a fan of my music before I started dating them. Like, no other girl I had that connection with who listened to my music and who cared like she did. So, of course, I have to write a whole new EP about her. And I'll talk more about the EP after we talk to this guy. Can't a man drink in peace? He looks like a vampire. Anyway, that bitch said you're expecting me. I'm going to keep this short because we've got a lot to do. All right, let's do it. Haunting Brew's owner, Sabjorn, is about to hold a tasting for White Run's Captain of the Guard. And we're going to poison the mead. You had the poison? No, no. That's the beauty of the whole plan. We're going to get Sabjorn to give it to us. The meadery has quite a pest problem, and the whole city knows about it. Pest poison and mead don't mix well. All right, so I get I get the pest stuff. I poisoned it, and I do that. So how do I fit You're in? Going to happen by and lend poor then go help. Okay, okay. Give you the so pretty much. Maven. Now get going. Pretty much, I gotta poison this guy. 
So I have to go. I have to go to this area and kiss this dude's ass and tell him I'm gonna help out. He's gonna give me rat poison. I'm gonna use it to poison this guy, and we're gonna continue. I didn't feel like listening to him. Blah blah. I want to listen to me. Blah blah. Not him. <laughs> so let's make our way over there, and um, I want to talk. I want to talk some about this new EP I'm doing. So if you guys are into music, you guys will know that an EP is a. It's like a half of a CD. It's what bands do when they haven't put out music in a while and they just want to put out something to give their fans before the next CD comes. Here's the thing, I have an idea and I have tons of songs written for the next CD I'm going to do. It's going to be a full length, but I want to put out an EP before I do the next CD. And an EP is like a, a six or a five or six track CD. That's what an EP is. And I'm putting one of those out. And it's mainly, it's going to be about my ex. Like, like I said a, a little while ago, she was like the only girl that I've dated who actually listened to my music, who actually is a fan of my band, who actually bought merch, and who actually wore my shirts, and who actually supported my bands, you know, before, after, and while we dated. And that means a lot to me. And, and I want to name the new CD... Go, go cry yourself a razor. I'm done kissing your cuts. Just because, I mean, that's fully about her. That line for line's fully about her. And like, I have like song titles picked out that are just strictly about her. Like, I haven't even wrote, I haven't even like, the songs I want for it might not be about her, but I want to use these titles just because they're so like about her. Like, I want to name one, like, I want to name one title Silly Rabbit. Another title, another title is one of my favorite. It's called thanks for playing Harley one last time that's one of my favorite Tyler that's one of my favorite titles and I'm definitely using that one I want to have like a title like I'm the lead singers girl um, a title that says mad love like I want to have these titles because they're all about her and the whole entire city is about her and I'll talk a little bit more about the city here in a little bit but we have to talk to this guy first what are you gawking at can't you see I have problems here is something wrong are you kidding me Look at this place. I'm supposed to be holding a tasting of the new hunting brew reserve for the captain of the guard. If he sees the meadery in this state, I'll be ruined. I might be able to help. Oh, really? And I don't suppose you'd just do it out of the kindness of your heart, would you? I hope you're not expecting to get paid until the job's done. That's the only way I operate. Um... Just pay me when the job is done. My only demand is that these vermin are permanently eliminated before my reputation is completely destroyed. Well, how do I perform? How do I permanently clean the vermin? I bought some poison. I was going to have my lazy good-for-nothing assistant, Malice, handle it. But he seems to have vanished. If you plant this in the vermin's nest, it should stop them from ever coming back. You got yourself a deal. Don't come back until every one of those things are dead. All right, no, so got to from what I remember, there's like a good little bit like to go on with this. Like there's a good little little dungeon down here full of pests that I have to kind of poison. So it might take a little minute to do this. But yeah, um, continuing of our story. I know we're going in, in off and on, but that's just because I'm playing this while I'm telling a story. So it's, you know... Got to keep that in mind. So, um, yeah, I'm working on a new EP, and that's going to soon happen. You know that 3DS I sold that you guys might have saw? Well, I sold it, and it's going to take a few weeks for them to, to send me the money for it, because PayPal sucks. But um, once that money comes in, I'm going to be able to buy some new strings and just a little bit more equipment that I need, and I'm going to start recording that EP. And it's going to be really good because I really need to record more music. Like, I don't feel, I don't feel right unless I'm recording. Like, I write so much music and I make so many songs that if I don't record and they just sit there, then I feel like it's a waste of time because that's what I love doing. I love writing. I love recording. And I love playing games. This is like my, these are like the things I do, you know, so I have to continue doing them. But it's like I said, this whole EP is about her. Like, like... The whole damn thing's about her. And all, the title of the CD's about her. The title of the song's about her. And most every lyric in the song is about her. And it just... I really don't think she deserves all that recognition. But she was seriously my number one fan. 
she seriously was, and she'd say she still is to this day, but I don't consider her my number one fan anymore, but yeah, I'm making this new CD, and it's going to be really cool. The other thing about it is it's going to be sad. Like, I know it kind of sucks, but I'm just, I'm sad in general. Like I said in the last videos, I wake up every day asking why, and just worrying about her, and just wishing I wasn't so poor, and wishing I had a better life. I do, every day, and it just sucks. I want to stop waking up every day asking why. I want to be excited to wake up and not sleep all day because I have nothing to be excited about in life. I want to have a reason to keep on living and not just to, not just listen to music that I might never hear, not just to, not just to do things, that, not just to play games that are coming out that I want to play one day, but I want to just, I just want to have a reason to get up every day and not ask why. I know it sounds really sad, but it's all I ever do is just ask why. So my main objectives for these this month is just to really to just get over her, to get over the fact that she is a very mean lady and she doesn't care about people's feelings to just get over that shit and to get over her and to move on. Whether I find someone new or not, I need to get out start this fucking EP, get over her, and find a job. If I can find a job, it'd be great. I could save money, I could get my mind off this shit, I could have a reason to get up every day, and I could meet new people. And these are like my goals. And I hope to accomplish them. I really, really do. And I didn't mean to go in that damn door. I have to go back out now. Huh? Yeah, one's this way. I have to go that way. So I don't know where I was going with that, but if you guys are wondering, I'm in a band. It's called The Last of What's Left. We haven't put out a CD in, since last year. I haven't even played a show, seriously, in about four or five months. i completely kind of been neglecting my bangs. I've been in such a slump. Like, I've been so fucking depressed, lady. <laughs> lady? I've been so depressed lately that it's just it's been driving me crazy. And then having this breakup. I mean, I was depressed, like, even before all this bullshit happened. I was feeling bad and depressed. And now that all this bullshit happened, it just thrown me into even a worser slump. And I really, I, I deserve better in my, in my sense. I don't deserve the shit people continuously put me through. So let's go ahead and open this. So I put the poison in there. So the food's poisoned now. So now I have to go worry about poisoning the rat traps now. Instead of just putting the poison in the food. So we'll put the poison in the rat traps. And we'll go back and say we've done it. And then we will... Hopefully, watch this guy get poisoned. So, um, did I end up ranting for 13 more minutes? I try not to rant about my ex, but I just want to talk about this new EP I'm putting out because, you know, that's, that's what I do when I don't do duck fins. I make music, and I love making music. My goal in this whole entire life is to be able to make music for a living. And if I can also do a YouTube living on the side, like if I get partner of YouTube and be like kind of a big YouTube guy, plus also be big in music and I can just do that for a living that would be just a dream come true like in a couple years if I could just you know do like a few mini tours have my music sell and actually be able to sell some shirts here and there and then also be able to make some money off this YouTube here and just have enough to make like I don't know maybe just a couple hundred a week just enough that a minimum wage job would have plus me working on the side I think I'll have my life pretty together so let's go ahead and activate the nest you applied the poison to the nest. Okay, so there. I have poisoned the nest, I have poisoned the breed, and now we can go ahead and get the hell out of here. So yeah, I, I do have goals in my life. I'm not just sitting here trying to waste my life, but I've been so depressed. It's been really hard for me to open my eyes to the goals that I really want to accomplish. But if anything good came out of this breakup, it's the fact that I am writing again. I have not stopped writing, and not only am I writing again, but I am... Why don't I have the key to this so I can just leave? I have to walk all the way back around now. It's kind of lame. But um, ever since the breakup, I've been able to write. And I've been writing a lot because of it. And I'm able to put out this new EP and to start recording these new songs. And they're all about her. And the whole CD is going to be about her. But the fact of the matter is that I'm able to actually do that is great. Because a few months ago, I wasn't even playing guitar anymore. 
I wasn't writing, I wasn't playing, I was doing nothing but pretty much just living in my own self-pity. And I kind of still am now, but I'm a lot more back into it. I feel like I just need a few more little pushes, I just need a few more little people to give me a, give me some positive energy and I'll be able to get back on track with my life here. And that's all I really want. I just want to get back on track, I want to make this EP, I want to do more YouTube videos, I want to find a little job that I don't hate that can just give me a little bit of money so I can start saving and to get me out there and just meet some new people and stop worrying about exes that break my heart. Yeah man, it's really what I want to get on. And thank you guys for taking this ride with me because it, it's been very bumpy. It's been a very bumpy, very annoying ride but I want to get in a better place in my life, you know what I mean? I like I have the key elements to have a better life, they just aren't all together. Like it's so yeah. shitty, like the main things I want, I'm like I want a girlfriend, I want a job that pays me good but I don't want to hate the job, I just want like a mini part time job and I want to make music and do duck fins on the side. Like I was pretty much doing everything that I wanted to do besides the job thing. Like I had a girlfriend, I was doing duck fins, I was doing the bands, and I was doing everything I wanted to do, and then, and then she broke up with me. I don't have a girlfriend anymore, and it just kind of tore everything apart. And it makes me really sad. <laughs> and I keep, I keep talking about it because I don't have any other way to let it go. So you guys keep hearing me vent. On the next episode, though, I'm gonna try not to vent about that. I'm gonna try to just stay keen to the story here. And not bitch as much, so... I can't wait to see so here we go. Was something we discussed unclear? Job's finished. Well, it's about time. I had to stall the captain until you were finished. What about my pay? You'll just have to wait until after the captain's finished. I suppose you can wait around if you must. What an asshole. Alright, we're gonna, we're gonna wait around. We're gonna see the king test the stuff and see if our poison works. Well, Sabjorn, now that you've taken care of your little pest problem, how about I get a taste of some of your mead? Help yourself, my lord. It's my finest brew yet. I call it Hunting Brew Reserve. I think you'll find it quite pleasing to your palate. Oh, come now. This is mead, not some wine to be sipped and savored. Dude, if I lived in those times, I would never trust anything from other people when it comes to food and drinks. I'd make everything myself. What? What's in this? I'd get drinks people I, I don't know. that didn't know I was coming What's to get wrong? them. You assured me this place was clean. I'll see. See to it that you remain in irons for the rest of your days. No, please. I don't understand. Silence, idiot. I should have known better to trust this place after it's been riddled with filth. I beg you, please. This is not what it seems. Erica got some nice little cleavage going on right now. You, you're in charge here until I can sort this all out. It will be my pleasure. And you, you're coming with me to Dragon's Reach. We'll see how quickly your memory clears in the city's prisons. Now, move. Look, I assure you this is all just a huge misunderstanding. I said, move! Oh, Erica, I'm never gonna be able to get rid of this suit because she just is so fine. I can see so much skin in it. Oh, she looks so good in that suit. I'm never gonna be able to get rid of it. Anyway, man, what's up? I don't up? think that could have gone any better. I need to get a look at his books. Anything else you need before you head back to Riften? Yeah, I need to get a look at his books. So, Maven wants to hunt down Sabjorn's private partner, huh? You're welcome to take a look around Sabjorn's office. He keeps most of his papers stashed in his desk. All right, give me Here, a key. This should help. Remember to put it in the word Maven for me. All right, so now I have the key. It's time to go look in his private office and get his information, and then go return it back to the Thieves Guild in Riften and continue doing the Thief Guild. We seem to be doing like a mission each video, so that's pretty good. Maybe I can actually get this done tonight. Actually, tonight I would like to actually get everything done tonight. I like to in one recording. I like to get all the thief guild done. I'd like to actually beat the main story. So once we get the thief guild done, 
we're only we can go ahead and beat the main story because that's um we're there already we're, we're at like the last part you know we're at the part where you have to you have to literally fly a dragon to this hidden realm and fight the main dragon boss so we're at the last part i just wanted to get the thief skill done so we're gonna get a thief skill done tonight hopefully and then we will be able to go ahead and take care of the main main story and so once we're done with that i'm not sure what we're gonna do i'm pretty sure we will continue but i'll address that situation when that situation comes available So that's pretty much in this video. We're going to go back to Riften and talk to that lady and tell her that I completed what she wanted me to complete. Again, I just want to say if you guys are getting a little annoyed by all my rants and all the stuff I talk about during this Let's Play, please leave in the comments and let me know that it's kind of annoying and I'll stick to more talking about the game. But I just feel that we're at a personal level here that I've been doing this for so long. The people that are watching this, I feel that we can connect a little bit and I can share inside information about my life with you and it helps me it really helps clear my mind I feel a little bit better now that I've been talking about it I mean because it's been plaguing me like this this whole last month has been completely hell and heartbroken like this whole February and I do not plan right now it's the first of March it, it just became the first it's two o'clock in the morning and and I do not plan on dragging my heartbreak and all the bullshit that I put up with you again friend oh shit I went the wrong way. She's in that damn. She's in that damn. She's in the inn. I have to go to the inn really quick. But I don't want to drag all my heartbreak and all my misery from February into this new month. I don't want March to be bad. I want March to be good. I want March to be me recording the new EP and letting go of the one girl that broke my heart. And so hopefully I'll be able to do that. So I don't really want to. I don't want to worry about her anymore. I mean, it's going to take me a while to get her out of my head. I'm sure she's still going to talk to me, which is going to make it even worse, but but we're done. I'm going to make that EP about her, and I'm going to leave that story in that CD. I'm going to leave the story between me and her in that CD, and that's what's going to stay. That is going to be the grave that me and her had will be in, in my new EP. So go to the Facebook and like The Last of What's Empire. Left, because that is my band, that and if you guys are interested in actually hearing that music that I've been talking about... Follow me on the last of what's left, and I will, you know, I'll be posting information about it, and we'll hopefully we'll be able to talk about it, and uh, you'll be able to listen to the songs I make. It'll be really cool. So let's go ahead and end this video by talking you to her. I have good news for me. Yes, I have good news for you. I finished the job. Here's the information you require. Requested. This doesn't tell me much. The only thing that could identify Sabion's partner is this odd little symbol. We know that already. I've seen this symbol before. Well... Whoever this mysterious marking represents, they'll regret starting a war with me. You should bring this information to the Thieves' Guild immediately. There's also the matter of your payment. I believe you'll find this more than adequate for your services. Alright, so for my payment, she gave me... So that? I have so much crap. I have no clue. Sh that, I think. There. That's what she gave me. A 10 dagger damage. What's the one I have now? The bloat away. This is the one I got from the... Yeah, that one's still better. That's the one I got from the uh, Thief's Guild, I think. So she gave me this really cool one, though. It has, like, lightning bolts. Takes 20% shock damage. That's pretty cool. We might use that. I might use that with some fireballs in the next episode. So that's it. We're going to return to the Thieves Guild, and I am going to end this video because it is getting too long. So thank you again for listening out to me rant, way. and you need to get the Boost. fuck Roger. out of my way. So again, thank you for listening to me rant, and we will continue doing the Thieves Guild in the next video. Talk to you guys later. Peace.